this what he has said. I don't know if you're on the same side of the fence with him on or the, you see things differently. On the 11th of November, 1947, mm -hmm. a character well known in history called Winston Churchill right. says this about democracy. Mm -hmm. Many forms of government have been tried and will be tried in this world of sin and woe. No one pretends that democracy is perfect or all wise. Indeed, it has been said that democracy is the worst form of government except for all those other forms that have been tried from time to time. Pseudo-intellectualism will not help us in Nigeria. Right. Baba Obasanjo has caused enough problem for this country. Papa should retire in peace and go and sit down and be praying for Nigeria like the one is, is doing. He is, Papa is a baggage on the neck of Nigeria. We must be, somebody must be very frank with that, uh, uh, that gentleman. Now, okay, is Baba now agitating for a replication of what prevails in Eritrea? In Equatorial Guinea, in Angola, we are, or in Cameroon, we are somebody, one individual, has been the president or the leader of those countries for more than three decades. Mm. Oh, Baba wants us to go in the direction of Mali. Mali, Niger. In the last, you see, you know why some of us don't take his messages quite, uh, you know, costly? Because he is a master of sending okay. subliminal messages. Right. Mm. He must, there must be a reason well, for this. a president, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, to make sure that whilst he was delivering a speech in Germany, he accentuated the fact that Nigeria should not be just opposed or compared with countries like Niger, Mali, where a person is a master of subliminal messages. Right. And to be honest with you, it is, an, it is a subtle sort of message to some people to truncate. Look, yeah. nobody comes mm. here to pretend that democracy it's is El Dorado. Exactly. Or we give Nigeria the Vena. Some of us don't even believe in this form of democracy. We believe more in representational democracy. Because the difference is that look at the percentage of votes scored by the opposition parties in the last general elections, if we were not to be having first past the, uh, the post the kind of democracy where the winner takes it all, mm. we will have a national assembly now that will have a more pronounced percentage of members of Labour Party, members of the PDP, and yet the APC will still be the majority. Well, some of us are agitating for that. But to just come out, and say democracy is the problem. Baba, what is the solution, sir? Mm. Because God <laughs> has so perfected it that in the history of Nigeria, you had the good fortune of being the leader of Nigeria right. in an autocracy, and you also had the good fortune of being the leader of Nigeria in a democracy. democracy. Baba, having used the two major sticks mm. to beat this drum, and you are now saying this drum is not sounding well to your ears. <laughs> Give us the reason. He's saying Afro democracy. Is Excuse me. He did not expatiate. <laughs> an Afro democracy an Afro democracy will take us to Eritrea. Where no. young persons are killed for take us to Cameroon, where one person has been the leader of the country for almost four decades. Take us to Equatorial Guinea, oh. where Obiang is uh -uh. we take us to oh Afro democracy may be a, a bunch of young stars toppling a properly elected president who was changing the fortune of that country in the jail, ironically. And yet, because, because majority of Africans don't want their countries to go to war, those boys are now coasting home. Yes, they are no. now signing, they are now supposedly signing agreements with the insurgents and the criminal elements that are the main reason why people's lives are miserable. Mm. What has been the difference in Mali? 
in Guinea, in, in Niger, Niger, since all these boys came to power. Mm. Some, of us, some of us were mature. We were quite matured when military uh, governance was in Nigeria. Now. Right. What difference did they do? Mm. Compare the level it, with all the sclerosis yeah. of democracy. Yes. With all the sclerosis of democracy. At least the two of us. We're mature. We've been I'm reading sure. we've been reading newspapers from around the of the of the No. Much earlier. Uh, look, uh, maybe <laughs> ma no, I, I think it's about time we should be telling some Nigerians watching us this morning. Uyo was a village. People need to go and look at the pictures of Uyo in 1980s, 1990s, before democratic dispensation came. You want to go to Aka? The first elected governor of Anambra State. I had the good fortune of being flown from London to, uh, when I was taken to his office in Oka, he was living in a bulldog, uh, a Paco, uh, a Paco house. Uh, but it, that was where he was functioning as a governor, in Oka. Look, when, when we sit down sometimes, a, a, you know, a set of people, and some, sometimes we should be telling ourselves the truth, a set of people who had five million, five million mouths to their population every year, five million mouths we had to our population every year, an average South African, an average South African produces, one South African worker produces what three Nigerian workers produce. The GDP of Nigeria is about the same with South Africans. And our population is three times. Yes. More, more. That's South more, Africa. More. We should, there are some. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> All right. I understand. <laughs>